Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough of this beautiful indie game tactical mission. Last time we need to actually defeat the cleaner base and this is not only a persistent mission which doesn't have really a time limit but I want the 500k and I want the monthly reward and I want the cleaners gone. I just want it all which is why we are launching an aircraft to immediately do that. Do the little trick with a sniper uh, on zero chance. And other than that, typical formation, two shield, two rifle, uh, two, uh, one grenadier, two heavy and two snipers. That has actually worked uh, relatively well so far. Just need to uh, kind of refine it a little bit. Uh, specifically once the shields are gone i feel that the shield bearers are a bit useless all right we landed and it is time to take out the base three entrances and i decided to make it a war on two fronts let's start with opening the right hand side oh, 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 oh. spotted the first enemy now that's too good of a cover. Moving up, triple shot. Guy goes solidly down. Let's see what is happening on the other side. Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. Natalia moves in and Tony has a free shot which I think we should take switching to the pistol another free one and this guy goes down okay hmm all right so this is a great door this is a bit suspicious there still. Uh, zero chance puts the sniper rifle and the ammunition down, regains a lot of valuable action points. Okay, well, this would be a straight shot into this direction. Good, we can I think, keep this choke point for now. Maybe we'll put Shattered Realm over here as well. And we do have Widowmaker. And Dilly G, this would be a good shooting line in this direction and in this direction. Could also position ourselves here behind the shelves. If we need to pull back, we can go into that room. I think for now we're good. I don't know where exactly the enemies are coming from. This is still a dangerous option. I need to double check that door. Uh oh, more enemies. And more enemies, okay. Well, that's a problem. More enemies, how? And some of them have blue weapons. Are those plasma or laser weapons? Wow, even more enemies over here. Okay, I knew it would be a hornet's nest. 
I wasn't aware that it's going to be so richly filled with enemies. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, now I know why, why Nubler didn't take any overwood shots. We should have switched to the pistol. Another enemy. Okay. How about a solid suppression? Followed by just hunkering down, to be honest. <laughs> one explosion and this guy is down. Let's try a second one. Oh, he took two shots and he's still up. Interesting. Shattered Realm moves in. Fails the shot. Let's first of all check what we're dealing with here. Nothing. Yeah, that's not that's not optimal. If we're moving to here, we could be hit. I think I would want to go for the flank, and this here is a, ve a very valuable position to have. Got two long ranged supports Billy G and Jim, and Zoe is pushing in. Okay, so that's good, that's acceptable. Pilius, single shot. This guy's still not dead. Yeah, can't move all the way up, so we'll take that shot. Kill him. Okay, good. Anchor down. <clears throat> Zero moves slightly forward. Uh oh, uh oh, sentry. Yeah, no, we're going to let Billy stay where he's at. This would be a bit too much of a movement. Now, yeah, let's just stay, uh, let him stay where he's at. We still need to deal with that other door. 
feels like we're pushing in very far and fast. And maybe we should pull everybody over here and then have two long corridors to deal with. Oh yeah, maybe that's potentially a good idea. Hey. I guess the idea would be to pull back into this corridor and have two fronts to fight to fight off. Good. Are we overloaded or oh no, we took we took reaction shots, that's why we start with less AP. Hit. Good one. And let's take another one. Good. There is burning, there is gore, there is blood. Pretty much successful. How do we deal with sentry? This guy's already taken his shots. Only do one quick shot. We're now suppressed. I don't know if the doors are going to be a problem, but I suppose we're going to find that out soon. Moving on. Triplet. And it's down. Very good. Reloading and let's begin to move in. Triplet hit from here. Good, good, good. Very good. There is a single shot kill. Clear the room. We're still holding that side, which is good. Okay. Anchor down, pistol. If the guy comes closer, we're ready. Reload here <coughs> to make sure that we're ready, ready. There's still the possibility of an opening over here. Jim moves up. Can't really shoot, but we can at least
stay there. We got another sniper, Dilly. Could take a long shot in both directions. Okay, we got the room. So the idea would be fall back and push forward here slowly. For now, the fire line is solid. We're actually doing well. But I have no idea how many bad guys we're going to face. This corner here is quite deadly. Okay, well. Oh, oh wow, yeah. It is indeed very deadly. Three more into sentry. That's a lot to deal with. So I've been thinking <laughs> since we lost the shield. Zero chance we'll become a sniper. That's why we brought the extra ammunition here. Moves over here. Bunker is down. I think we need to refocus on this side whilst at the same time slightly starting to move in here uh, shattered ram will reload we gotta be careful once this here is opening, all hell will break loose. Good. Jim definitely has a great shot overall here. The G can shoot to, through here and here. I think we will need the explosives in here. So let's take cover and move in. And the big question mark is, does anyone come through here? But for now we're, I think, safe. The idea is to push in. We know there are at least three and a sentry gun, that's already four enemies. All right, a hit. Two hits, actually, and he's still standing. Good, he's down. Down for good. One moved over here. I hear glass. Maybe on this side. Maybe they are running around on the right-hand side. But they are trying to flank, likely. open that because Tilly G has a good line of sight here. Happy. Moves up. Reloads. And we're waiting here. Shattered is going to keep everything quiet. So we could actually stay here. And where would we need the explosives? Move to here, anchor down, this. Okay. Now, the question is, do we want to start pushing a bit further or not? 
we put another sniper in here. Almost putting all of our eggs in one basket. But that's a very straight line shot. Need to reload here. And Tony gets to use just a pistol for now because I think we don't... Well, we do we do have enough for one uh, sniper shot. So I should use that. Daddy still, still have ammunition. Reload. That way we maybe get two shots out of uh, Natalia. There are, by the way, a couple of weapons on the ground which we could use. So let's see what the enemies are doing. This breach here will be critical for our success. <clears throat> uh oh. Whoa! Second sentry gun. Not good. Good hit. That guy's down, but that's two sentry guns. Not good at all. Nice. We suppressed him. Well, that's very good. Oh, that is a nasty breach. So many enemies. Bring it up carefully. Let's start the sentries. Triple hit. Good. Another salvo. Opening that door. Shattered moves up. Anchor is down. Triple salvo. Oh no. Takes fire in return. Takes more fire in return. I don't like it. Solid explosion, followed by another explosion. Okay, that it just doesn't doesn't give a crap. Do we have any more time units? I want to use the sniper for straight up shooting there. Okay, well, single shot, single hit. I suppose that wasn't too bad. The G can't reach it, but I want the G to continue to scout for that area. The O moves up. I think that's still good enough. No, nope. we're down. No, we're going to save uh, that one entrance. Overwatch stays here. Daily stays in Overwatch, and fortunately can't reach. And we can't just roll a grenade in either. 
new, which means we're staying exactly where we are, stay put. I think it has already used all of its overwatch shots, so it's not as dangerous. And the rest of the breach was wildly successful. Uh, there's the sniper. And the reason why we overwatched in the first place. Damn it, it has not used any of that. Just full autoed into us. Okay, Shattered Realm took quite a bit of damage. Gotta work on that. Right, Shattered Realm buddy. There we go. Tony moves over here. Moving up. of uh, reach okay a couple of pistol shots no yes no not good love of it can you please destroy the sentry really it's not oh, that difficult i was about to say it's not that difficult how could it how could we continuously fail to get it down well explosives still nothing Pistol and still nothing. <laughs> it's going to fire again if we do not do anything about it. Twenty four. No, can't really do that. No. I need this one here safe and secure and that long corridor as well. So it is what it is at the moment. At least we were out of line of sight, mostly. Maybe it's running out of ammunition, who knows. It definitely took <coughs> a lot of shots. Four shots already, including two explosives. <coughs> and it's still going. We need to pull back. Way too dangerous and now we're suppressed wonderful you never want to find yourself in a situation where you're suppressed on a long corridor <laughs> plenty of enemies there Okay, let's see. Tony took a bit of damage, but not that much. But we're opening it again. Reloading. And it's almost down, so a single shot should kill it. Yes, thank you. Moving fully into cover again. Okay, cool. High explosives, one hit, and a kill. That's what we call indirect destruction, indirect demolition.
I don't want to yet go there. We're going to take up his weapons next turn. Or his weapons. It doesn't matter. Still saving uh, that side. Ah, decent overwatch. Snipers are just mowing down whatever is coming uh, their way. Epi, overwatches, we're out of pistol ammunition. Laser pistol, that is. And I'm wondering if we may want to go over and fetch some. Zoe has a really good angle here. I oh, we can't. Yeah, we, we, we. What am I thinking? We have used two grenades. We need to re uh, reload the grenade launcher. Stupid. Why? Why would I think uh, that would work? Got enough uh, shots here, so we're good. The site here has been very calm and quiet, but there's only so much we might need to push push into the main uh, flock with even more soldiers. But for now, I think six in here, one over here as kind of a sprinter, and those two to have the the long lines covered. It's not a bad it's not a bad setup. It's actually a pretty good one. Okay, I think we need a small break and a few weapons here. So let's start with the obvious. We need our laser pistol. Solidly reloaded. Okay. Moving back over here. Bunker down. And reload. Cool. That worked just with the time units. Tony looks into this direction. Okay. So. In the meantime, can we pick up alien plasma rifle? That's great. 56 thermal damage? Oh my lord. And penetrates... 10 armor and minus 12 armor per hit. Wow. That's a lot of damage. Plasma grenade, 70 damage. Okay, can we? Oh, yeah, we can throw them. Fabulous. However, I need more. First of all, hunker down. And then, can we pick up that other thermal? No, we cannot. But hunkering down is good for now. Moving up. All right, so what are we going to do with you? If I... 17. That's exactly as much as to get there. Okay. Here we go. Nicely suppressed him. Going back. Done. Next up. Move in. Shoot once. This guy is still alive. And move back. All right, can't kill him. But we need 
need support on this flank here. Now that we've given given up, we need to kind of hold both of these corridors. Elsewise, we're in a world of pain. Let's double check. Anybody who needs to reload, we're good, we're good. The guy's suppressed, so he can't really move. Yeah, we're just holding it down for now. I heard something on the left. It sounded like an opening of doors. This one is not opened. Maybe they are coming around. Uh oh, uh oh. One shot and the guy goes down fabulous anchoring I think we're taking time to reload and to just keep this one open reload and we're good on the ground more alien plasma grenades love to see that I think over here we do have proper ballistic weapon yep are you telling me you can't pick up well 20 shots are good enough don't need fancy reloading good if anyone comes through here already a good time to like look over here and that gives him the long view and that view still still a decent chance to hit there all right end of turn Well, we are sniping them down. This guy here sends right in the open. Good, fresh reload for Shattered Realm. Opening this up. Look, let's just kill him. 41 points of damage. Oh my lord. Almost down. I'm sure, if used 100% hit. Can't reload now, but we can switch to laser. Do we have a medic nearby? Yes, we do. to get away from the cover that'll make zero more likely to eat more damage instead shattered will move over here go down turn around and next time next turn we're healing him natalia picks up the tab uh oh uh oh enemy spotted well Let's try this. Oh, 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 the grenades. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're ready. 
whilst we are doing a little bit of this that give me the alien plasma grenade. too good to not use it hell yeah okay don't want to push too far but I see it looks tasty for now I think we just need to somewhat survive the onslaught from over here We're back to 27. Look, it's not a great value. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Let's check if there is anyone here. No. We're going to go in next turn. These uh, three are just hovering for now. Reloading the precision laser. Already reloaded here. Reloaded, reloaded. Okay, good. Next turn. Next turn. Okay, we're going to take a bit of a different approach. What we currently are is fine, but I think we can do better. So what I would want to do is we're going to push over here and try to get into this room from the other side. Pretty sure that there must be a connection. We're going to take whoever is left over. So Natalia is going to join us on this beautiful mission as well. And in the meantime, we're just going to have a skeleton crew here. Appy is taking this one here very seriously. We got two snipers. Appy can be the medic. So the three of them are in a decent condition. Zero has lost a lot of hit points, but that's fine. Uh, Jim can cover that area by himself and the G is going to be extra cover from back here. So we're essentially taking five out of nine pushing through this and the rest is just holding. Holding like there is no tomorrow. kind of grenades do we have out of curiosity is that a flashbang no that's a smoke but we got a flash here with Zoe oh, that's good and an alien grenade okay cool since Zoe has the flashbang we're going to use her in order to move forward Good, there is an opening. And I would actually move even further. Okay, 
is a pistol. Uncle Nuber follows. Shattered Realm takes the other side. And Natalia watches from here. I think we're good. Anybody else who needs to reload? No. Five, three, five. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, let's get ready for the breach. Zoe begins to move in. Uh oh. Found an enemy. Let's use our flashbang. Suppressed. Because the good part about suppression is uh, the enemy does not have any more overwatch shots. And if he was just standing there, for instance, there is a high likelihood that he has literally just his entire. Um, action economy left over. That's a good hit. And we're having another good one. And Shadow Realm has killed him. Give me those sweet, sweet alien grenades, please. And let me know if there are more enemies. No, there are not. Which is good. Because that means... We can start moving around here. And we're going to push in harmonizing the flanks question is what does the G do potentially what we need is a nice little long shot For now, we're just going to move to here. Yeah, our snipers are just going to stay where they are. So many corpses. curiosity is this going to remove the door thank you much easier just reloading and we're good moves up pistol in hand hunker is down Good, we're fully moving over. Moving into cover here.
Good, that's enough for one shot from the G. This is still being covered and we're, as you can imagine, we're now going to like do the round here. Do we have another flashbang is the question. Do we have another flashbang? Okay, so let's push forward. Opening this up and we got a sentry. Not good. Well, for starters, we're just going to hunker down. Secondly, we got a full auto option here. And we should use that. This guy was on the toilet. <laughs> okay. All right. What a poor way to go out. Taking a shit and then essentially realizing your friends have abandoned you. And what worse way to go out than with a grenade whilst being on the toilet. Everything explodes for feces. But the guy is still standing strong. Apparently doesn't want to go. Well, can't throw a grenade there. Too far away. But we can take a single shot. Natalia, help with storming the uh, toilet front. As we're moving in deeper. Everybody realizes that we are switching sides. I tell you what though. Would definitely like to have at least one more sniper over here. And then we're just covering it with <coughs> two snipers essentially. Tony moves up here. Not with two snipers, with a heavy and the sniper. And we're pushing in with all of the rest on the other side. All right, let's go. This flank here is a bit weaker now, admittedly. But since all they need to do is just keep a steady pace, I think it's not going to be an issue. Hunker down, turn around, and we're good. Moves to here. Widowmaker begins to move in. Uh, ooh, should have Rome is running out of ammunition. Does Epi still have ammo? Plenty. Oh, plenty is. Too generous. Epi has some ammunition. 
with a fully loaded gun. Which means Shattered Realm moves over here. And picks up some of the ammunition. Oh, I see. We have a you reload with ammunition left over, you basically have one or two shots, okay. We reloaded a lot with not that much ammunition left over. Okay, it is what it is now. The G is pushing all the way to here. You can take one of those spots next turn. Tony is covering for now. Uncle Nuber is moving over. Very good. I think we're just calling it quits. It's very likely that we're only seeing one or two more enemies. Natalia moves to here. Peppy moves to here. Heavy machine gun Zoe moves up. Billy moves to here. Tony takes the other spot. Uh oh, no, 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 we're not going to take that. Instead, we're just going to go here. Good enough. All right, end of turn. Does anyone still have a flashbang? She's super helpful when entering. I should remind her to myself I should bring more flashbangs with us. Smoke, smoke. Normal grenades, no flashbang. But we do have automatic weapons. <sighs> Which will be needed, as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's suppress them full auto. Good, that guy is suppressed. Sniper is next. Let's get the sentry out of the way. Sentry down. Very good. Next up. Epi begins to move in. It's a grenade is going to threaten to use it. Easily eliminates one of those guys. Begins to move back. It's down, okay, cool. 
one hit and a kill. Okay, the breach was very successful. What I'm seeing now is no more time units left over. So, what are we going to do? Pistol is not accurate enough. Grenade throw is certainly not accurate enough. I think we're just going to let that one slide. We're in good cover and he only has a ballistic weapon. Let's open this door. Ah, not yet. Okay, we're going to uh, uh, get to open it. Uh oh. Slight damage. I don't like it. What are we dealing with? Shattered Realm. Um, reloads a single shot and begins to heal himself. Tony hits him. The G. Moves in. Kills him. All right. Still not finished. We open the door, which means we got the free line of sight over here. What's wrong with Array? Is she overloaded? I wonder why does she have only 37... Okay, whatever. Bring down. to deal with that now or just going to use a grenade I guess moves up throws the grenade almost destroys it We have another one. Yes, we do. Once Natalia Ray finally gets her action points back, we could actually do something. Well, for now, let's just keep it going. Keep it moving. It's fantastic to see just how many enemies are in this up in base. If you think about it, it's potentially 25, maybe 30 enemies. All right, let's try this again. Hunker down, full auto, and we suppress the other guy, which is lucky because if 
that's what we want. I still hit with our grenade thrower, grenade launcher. He is suppressed, which is good. 86%. I think we're going to take two shots instead. One and two. What a monster of a mission. And you just gotta love heavy guns for their ability to... One, once you commit to like a full auto, things are looking absolutely bright because all of a sudden enemies are hunkering down and they're not shooting back and typically you are removing cover. I really like heavy weapons. I'm even considering if one of our kind of assaults slash riflemen should pick up a heavy weapon. They're a little bit slower, uh, but overall very much impressed with them. What a mission. Wow. All right, let's look at the after action report. Everybody got a medal. I like it. Um, they love successful uh, completion of an alien base mission. That's great. We got uh, metal for completing 10 missions on some of uh, them. Elimination of four or more. We 31 aliens killed? Oh my lord. Golden Star. Eliminating cumulative of five hostile enemies. Yep, Crimson Heart for more damage. Oh yeah, baby. I mean, this here is crazy, right? Because some of uh, some of them got three medals in one go which is another plus three to all stats so essentially if you look at uncle nuber or zoe uh, they got plus four to all stats which is a lot if you think about it so we have reached kind of the edge of an early access game no image attached uh, i've uh, found more than a few surprises in the cleaner archive biggest one um, that humanity has apparently been aware of the alien foes for decades. Turns out that we're not even the first organization established to monitor them. 1962, wreckage of alien spacecraft was discovered. Instead, uh, jointly established XDEF, uh, the clandestine organization tasked to study the crashed UFO, uh, UFOs. Um, with the existing classified at high level, blah, 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 blah. Looks like uh, the research work was highly successful and most of the extraordinary scientific process in the recent decades were actually built upon the knowledge uh, gleaned from fragments of the extraterrestrial technology. Unfortunately, they clearly proved less successful at defending our planet's warped remains of Exif and now become the cleaners, serving the very enemies they were introduced in the project. It's not very clear what happened to them, but whatever it seems connect to an enormous high-tech device that they built in their main laboratory. I have no idea what it does. I'll turn uh, what I uh, have over to our chief scientist. Perhaps they can get to the bottom of it. Cleaner device plot. Okay. New engineering uh, project available, nanotech warp sh uh, workshop and quantum something. What are these beautiful new buildings going to provide? So wait. Base upgrades, nanotech workshop. Upgrades our existing workshop structure into a nanotech workshop, improving the efficiencies and quantum laboratory. Upgrading existing laboratory structure for quantum laboratories, improving the efficiencies. Let's uh, do exactly that. Sounds like exactly the type of production that I would want to get. It's basically a base upgrade because the alternative would have been to build uh, one more living capacity here and one more laboratory and then hire new scientists but might as well just increase our existing facilities because currently we have a tight uh, neat little base here and every single upgrade is valuable cool so 
autopsy cleaner. I must command you, Commander, blah, blah. They have 60 in all stats. And keep in mind the accuracy on the difficulty that we're playing is always times 1.2, so it's 80 accuracy. Cleaner's operative. Okay, surgical... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Bodies beneath appear um, indistinguishable from normal humans, yet at a glance of the roof of the mouse reveals a heavy scarring which implies significant surgical intervention, the full extent of which can only be uh, revealed by bisecting the skull. Um, countless metal implants have been embedded within the brain, collectively replacing over a third of the tissue with electronics. It seems safe to assume that the replacements form some sort of control device. Um, we would need to capture a life cleaner to disarm and extract the nature. Sadly, uh, surgical removal does not appear to be feasible. Loss of so much brain matter means uh, the implants themselves must be compensating for the missing function in some uh, matter. Removing it would almost certainly leave the patient in a vegetative state. Cleaners, uh, operatives are thus doomed to serve the alien masters for the rest of their pitiful existence, leaving us no choice but to eliminate them. Thankfully, this should not be overly difficult. But the evidence, I, I beg to disagree. Um, they were so far the hardest enemies. The no evidence suggests that the implements enhance combat performance, nor that the equipment apparently superior to. What the fuck are you even talking about? Um, they do have plasma rifles. They do have plasma grenades. They had um, much better has misuse than anything that we've done. They take on two to three shots from our uh, from our quote unquote superior weapons. That is the wackest research report that I've ever read. And by the way, they do have better stats than all of our recruits started with. Wow. New research available, alien plasma weapons. That is exactly what we would want to do, but let's do our current research and finish that first. Should not be a problem to eliminate them. In, which, in, in what universe are you living? Okay, well, medium UFO and medium UFO. Okay, non escort and non escort. Let's go for UFO 10. Launch the interceptors. We got the sweet, sweet laser weapons. Let's go. The other UVO attacks us their own. Not a base defense, please. Airliner is shut down. 300 um, fatalities. All of the terror is actually a bit of a problem. Fighting another destroyer. Which, mind you, I would love to salvage again. So that's exactly the angle where only one of them is going to take issues. In this case, Angel One. With bigger range with our laser weapons. Bam, bam. Very nice, come on. Nice. So we're going to do that in a second. For now, select new target, UFO 11. Which, in return, just attacks our base. But I've built base defense. Approaching Europe, attacking uh, U4 has 20 armor and 175 health. Laser battery, one fires, causing 173 damage. Defensive battery damaging U4. Ugh. Oh. Okay, so you're telling me because we didn't have laser battery 2 and 3 active, we're now going to have a base under attack. Uh, it's always the same. You gotta be prepared for those shenanigans. 
and it's certainly not helpful but we do have a lot of injured characters good let's see we need shields up front right right so warden armor warden armor that's good i would say my lesson learned is let's take a flashbang grenade a little bit less ammunition and more explosives might as well take a little bit more ammunition to be honest you do have a lot of um, a lot of strengths second one here similar ordeal two flashbangs and we're good so next up rifleman Epithelius into the front and Shattered Realm with 50% hit points. Not great, but what are we supposed to do, right? If they had 1% um, of their entire UFO uh, left over, then I have to wonder. how many aliens are actually going to be there. Good, let's take a defender armor here. Shattered Realm with all of his wounds needs to have the bigger armor. And I think we're fine. Same, by the way, goes for the snipers. Tony takes a different armor. And Billy G is with Tony. The G also takes a lower armor. Uh, a little bit less ammunition and the rest is okay so got a couple of heavies that and that looks fantastic give me more heavies warden armor i think instead of an explosive let's use a flashbang because i've learned that the flashbangs are actually quite good are we going to have another shield in front? The question is, why not? Anders would be the right candidate for it. Let's give him some flashbangs. And just a little bit more. Good, got three shields. That's plenty. Zero. It's going to go into a sniper route. I don't even know if everybody is going to start jointly. Defend armor. Ah, eh, let's give him warden armor. He only has 50% of his hit points. He could easily die from that. Aziz al Krai. By the way, Anders here takes a bad little club. That's good. His shield is gone. Let's take another sniper. And 
we are going with some extra plate armor here. Maybe a flashbang for good measure. Wow, so much, so much extra strength. And some healing. Okay, cool. Dark Cry. It's going to load up with a lot of ammunition. And we do have... Uh, two grenadiers okay so four snipers two grenadiers three heavies you know what let's make her with the strengths let's just make her a heavy we still got a little bit extra ammunition left over might as well do that Taking a flashbang. And a normal charge. And another flashbang. Good, very solid. Got enough ammunition. We don't know how many aliens are going to come. And I just talked about how much I prefer the heavies with their weapons. And since we have upgraded heavy weapons, it's good. So that'll be fine. Got enough ammunition for the rifleman. The one thing that I learned is maybe just maybe we're picking one more ammunition. The shields are doing well. We got enough flashbangs. Potentially too many. Okay. So, three shields, two riflemen, four heavies, one grenadier, which is, I think, plenty. We don't need, we don't actually don't want to destroy our base uh, too much and a lot of snipers. All right, so this is the perfect cliffhanger where we're going to end it today. It was a long episode to begin with. And uh, why do we need to uh, fail in shooting down the medium UFO? That's why you need laser batteries and more than one. Um, 174 points of damage and the thing had 175 hit points. Well, this is XCOM and storytelling at its finest. We're against the wall with our backs. So now let's take our 14 soldiers and just get it done with, uh, get it over with. If you like uh, the tension of the campaign, leave a comment and a like down below. Xenonauts 2 is a great game and uh, it always helps the algorithm to understand that as well. Take care and see you in two days. Bye bye.